guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm doing another pregnancy update for you. This is going to be weeks 19 and 20, which is so crazy. I feel like 20 weeks is a just a big number to get to, especially I know with twins, it's kind of like a milestone to get to 20 weeks. So I'm super happy about that. So today I wanted to share with you some baby products that I got. I got my 21 bundles box in the mail, so I want to share that with you some super cute baby clothes that are just so precious. They're all right in front of me and they're just the cutest things I've ever seen. And then like always symptoms, I had one doctor's appointment this uh, past week and just kind of, I'll let you know, you know, typical things, how I've been feeling and that sort of thing. So I hope you guys all enjoy today's video and let's get started. Okay, so first up, let's talk about my 21 bundles box that came in the mail. It's so cute, I love these so much. So I get this from Crate Joy. If you guys haven't heard of it, Crate Joy is a website that has hundreds of monthly subscription boxes. So if, even if you're not pregnant, you can go on their website and find a box that is catered towards your interest. So if you want something that's more geared towards beauty, towards health, food, whatever, they have so many different types of subscription boxes. It's so cool. So I will put their information down below if you guys want to check it out. So I have been getting the 21 bundles box, which is for expecting moms. It's $39.99 a month and you get boxes catered towards whatever month you're in, which I think is pretty cool. So this box is for five months. So in here we have some tea. This is the Earth Mama Angel Baby Organics Peaceful Mama Tea. It's chamomile, caffeine free. I actually haven't had any tea at all since I've been pregnant just because a lot of teas aren't safe for when you're pregnant. So I might start drinking tea again because I don't know, I, I, I haven't had any coffee since being pregnant. I haven't wanted it at all. But I feel like maybe I should start drinking tea. I'm kind of waiting for it to get a little cooler. It's just so hot. Next thing I'm super excited about is, and I also wanted to talk about nail polish because I've been getting some questions asking about what nail polishes I've been using. This is by Ella and Mila, and this is in the shade Too Too Cute, which is just a pale blush color. It's kind of like the color we're painting the walls in the nursery. I also have one of these in mint. One of my favorite nail polishes because it's made with really good ingredients. Um, so when I'm looking for nail polish right now, I look for like a four or five free formula. So it's free of like all those bad chemicals that you don't want. My nails are so incredibly long. I just can't believe it. I don't have any nail polish on right now. They're just, I'm just kind of at my, it looks like I have a French manicure, but I don't. Very good perk of being pregnant. So there's that. There also is the Henne Organics Rose Diamonds Lip Exfoliator. This is organic. It doesn't really smell like much. It's kind of cool looking inside. Also, there is some Mother's Love Pregnant Belly Solve, which is good. I have been going through my lotions and belly oils like crazy. I'm almost done with my Zo Organics Belly Oil. I've been loving that one, and I just like dump it on my belly at night and on my legs, on my butt, on my boobs, on my back, like everywhere. So um, this is good because I'm almost out of that one. Oh, and this smells good. I think I might have one of these actually. I don't know if it's the same one. Just I've been trying to make sure to use organic products on my skin because your skin is a lot more sensitive when you're pregnant. I found that out very quickly. There's a couple, oh, I need to use this. This is the foot and leg refresher from Herba Organics Mommy to Be. I'll talk about my legs in a little bit, but yeah, my legs have been like super achy and I've been getting trolley horses and all that fun stuff. So I might keep these like by the TV so I can use that at night. Also there is the organic, not organic, a cure coconut and argan oil cleansing towelettes. And last, oh, there's another sample of um, a sunscreen, and there's also the Revival Labs Hypoallergenic Mascara, which I have never tried this. I have a lot of Revival Labs products, but I've never tried this. So, and there's the mascara. So, cool box this month. Really love getting these. They're just fun, and they're things that are 
things they're going to use if, like in that time. So it's perfect. So. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys is I got two of these journals. One of my friends recommended these to me. They're by the company Promptly. And they are a complete childhood history from pregnancy to 18 years old. And I just think they're so beautiful. I, want, I knew I wanted a baby book, but I wasn't sure what one to get. And I like these because they just look like decor almost. So I think, look how pretty this is on the side. So I got two different colors. I originally just bought one. And as I was filling it out, I realized that I definitely need two. I feel like each girl should have their own because it goes through, you know, it taught, let me give you like an example page. It's just very like, I like the simplicity of it. Um, it talks about doctor's visit stats, um, in what way is your baby moving, which teeth does your baby have, and then when they get older, it's questions like um, their favorite subjects in school, favorite part of the holiday season, just kind of neat little questions. And I just realized <clears throat> I didn't want to do, like as I'm filling one out, like this is for you, this is for you, kind of like, I don't know. I just thought I need, they each needed their own journal. So they're not just one person, they're each their own person. So it'll take a little extra time, but that's what I'm sure everything, having twins will take extra time. So next I'll show you guys some baby clothes that are so cute. So Andrew's mom got these. She was up at, in LA one day and there was a Zara baby right by her. And so she went through and she said everything was just so, so cute. And I didn't even know they have baby clothes. So I looked on their website and they have so many and they're really not that expensive. So if you guys want some kind of cute different things, definitely check them out. Okay, so there's these two tops, which are these little long sleeve kind of linen, linen shirts with little bows. I like things that match, but are different colors. I think that's kind of like what I'll be, tend to get if they have it, if they offer it at different stores. I'll match some things, but not everything. And then there are these little guys, just, this is the little stars, and this one has some nice little floral print. This one I think she said was on sale for pretty cheap. Yeah, 10 bucks for that. And then there are these little shirts that are so cute. I love the material on these too. Look at this one. It has, oh, that's the back. This is the front. It has this little like wooden button. And then on the back, it buttons all the way down. But they just feel really nice. And this is my favorite. I love this so much. I think it's the cutest shirt I've ever seen. Then these two little matching ones, these little white blouses, which are, I, I can't even handle the cuteness. Okay. Um, then some pants, a bunch of leggings. So here are some like nice little thick cotton leggings. The leggings feel just really nice. I love these ones, these striped ones. They're just super thick and just really nice. Um, and then these ones are the same. I think there's a black pair and a pink pair. Oh, these ones are six to nine months. And then look at these jeans. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's two of these skinny jeans. We got this one in the in the faded denim, and then this one in the dark denim. And then there are these jeans, which have these little like embellished floral details on them. It's just too much to handle, I can't even. Look at the back. So these are hanging up in their closet and um, the nursery is coming along quite slowly. We wanted to put in Wayne's coating first, so we did that last weekend. We had that all installed on the bottom, and then we're going to paint this following weekend white, the Wayne's coating, and then paint the top part like a very, very pale blush color, like kind of, um, kind of like this, I want to say. And then once we have that all painted, then we can kind of like start figuring stuff out. But yeah. Okay, so moving on to how I've been feeling. I had a doctor's appointment and everything was great. It was a lot quicker than my last few have been. I don't know why, maybe just because, well, I actually had the doctor do the ultrasound instead of the ultrasound lady. Um, so he just did it right away, came in and just did it like super quick, just did all the measurements and he was just like, good, good, normal, normal. And that's kind of what you want to hear. You just want to hear normal and that everything is good. And 
for this stage that I was at when I had the appointment, they should have been weighing at about eight ounces and they're actually 11 and 12 ounces, which is crazy because usually girls are a little bit smaller. So they're gonna be, I'm, I'm hoping that they're bigger babies because with twins, you know, you, you want them to get as big as they can. But both Andrew and I were big babies. I was eight something and Andrew was nine something, I think. We were pretty big, so I think they're gonna be pretty big. And I have a really big head, so. Um, but yeah, everything was good. He just said to up my calcium to 2,000 milligrams a day. Um, so I've been taking one pill that I have from Vitacost and then I've been taking a Tums with that just to give me a little bit more. And I've been taking five of my prenatals a day, three in the morning, two at night. I just ran out, so I just ordered some more on by the cost. And then I also got some Zantac because I started getting heartburn and he was saying that uh, you don't want to let it get too bad because it can burn your throat. So he was saying he recommended to take Zantac when I feel it coming on. So I don't have to take it every single day, but when I, I can feel like after I eat sometimes I can kind of feel it. Um, you know, just start to irritate me. And so I'll take one in the evening and it works great throughout the night because there was a couple nights where it was super bad and it was, it was hard to sleep. So it would just like feel like it was just burning crazy. So I just picked that up at CVS. It was the Zantac 75. So that is what I have. It's the only like medicine I'm taking right now. I still have been getting some headaches, but they're definitely not as bad. My mom just made me this little essential oil blend and it's been great. I think she has in it peppermint, lavender, frankincense, and I'm not sure what her carrier oil is that she used. I'm not sure. I'll ask her and I'll put it down below for you guys. But she just put it in a little roller ball for me. Uh, so I've just been trying to use some natural things like that to help with my headaches. And just like, honestly, just massaging my temples at night helps a lot too. And just laying down, like turning the lights down, turning the volume on the TV down helps a lot. It's so crazy. My last appointment, I had gained six pounds in two weeks. So he was very, the doctor was super excited about that. So right now I'm about, I've gained about 16 pounds and... Um, I just feel a lot bigger, like lately, just feel bigger all over. Um, my arms feel bigger, like my love handles, my thighs feel much bigger, just like, I just feel very full. And it's, it's weird, it's, I don't know, it's kind of strange to adjust to your body, because it changes so quickly, like every single day when I wake up, I, I look so different every day. It's just very bizarre to watch. Um, same with my stomach. It's been growing a lot more. It's a lot harder and just like, I don't know. It's just wide. I feel like probably just because there's two in there. So it just like feels very wide. I've just noticed that it's harder to do things now. If I'm on the couch, I have to roll <laughs> to get up. I can't just sit up. I have to it's weird, you don't notice how much you use your ab, like your muscles there. So if there's something that I need on the coffee table, it's like, oh, that means I have to roll around to get up. I really can't imagine what it's gonna feel like when I'm like a couple months down the road. I just, <laughs> kind of freaks me out. My legs have also been hurting. If I go on a walk with Kyla, if I take her on a walk, it feels like I, ran a marathon and my legs just ache and my ankles hurt. They're not swollen or anything yet, thank goodness. But yeah, they just feel kind of like growing pains if you guys know that feeling. That's how my joints kind of feel, just achy. So I've been trying to stretch them and um, like just apply lotions to them and that sort of thing. But yeah, they just feel a little achy. I've been getting Charlie horses every now and then, like in the middle of the night, I'll get them. Um, so that's fun. It's also super, super hard to fit into m most of my clothes now. So I wear dresses most of the time because they just feel the most comfortable. I ordered another pair of maternity shorts from H&M. I hope they fit, we'll see. And I got a couple tank tops from there. And I just got a couple tank tops from Target. Target doesn't have a huge selection of maternity stuff, but I just needed a couple tank tops that are 
longer. My bras have felt super tight, especially at the end of the day. At the end of the day is when I feel a lot bigger. So I take those off as soon as I possibly can. And I like to wear bralettes more often, just elastic, like sports bras are too tight, but like stretchy elastic bralettes feel nice. I have one from Fabletics that I really like. I definitely have been a lot more tired lately. Around like the middle of the day, I'll take naps sometimes, which has been new because I haven't really taken naps uh, since the first month of being pregnant when I was super, super tired. And I still am going to bed pretty early, but my nausea has, it's not completely gone. It's weird. Like it's, I still don't feel great at night, but I don't feel like I used to feel at all. Like it's definitely not the same at all. It's way better. I can eat later during the day now so I can eat a dinner. I try to eat dinner now. Um, so that's been helpful. And I try to drink protein shakes every day just to give that extra protein to help my placenta. Also, my nose has been getting super, super stuffy. I got a bloody nose today for the first time. But yeah, my nose just feels extremely stuffy all the time. I also started feeling a lot of kicks lately. I know, I don't know if I mentioned, no, I didn't at all. So I think week 19 was the first time that I felt something and I was like, what is that feeling? I felt it kind of higher up on my right side and then I realized it was kicks. And I started feeling them very frequently. It was the coolest thing ever. Uh, and then I was wondering like why I hadn't felt something on my left side and then finally I felt a little bit, but like lower on my left side. And the doctor was saying with twins, you typically feel it more on one side than the other and the right side's more common just because of how your organs are. So that made me feel better because I feel the right side a lot more, but it's so weird. Like when I drive, I feel the baby on the right so much. Every time I'm driving, it's so bizarre. And every time I yawn, it'll kick. Like right after it's so funny and then the l baby on the left I feel more later in the day like at night and Andrew actually last night for the first time could feel it so I had him put his hand kind of right in that area and he felt it so that was really cool so it's, it's definitely so weird every time I feel it it feels just it's kind of like a good reassurance and it's crazy they're moving a lot so it's super super neat so I have a dress on so I'll just show you it through my dress, but here is my belly. It is getting large. <laughs> Here's it from the front. So yeah, my belly button hasn't popped out yet, so it's kind of like a little ridge right there, but it's definitely growing very quickly and it's very, very hard. So that's everything I wanna update you guys on. For those of you who are pregnant too, I hope you guys are feeling okay. I've had a lot of uh, comment saying that you were kind of in the same boat as me. So I hope you guys are feeling better if you've been feeling sick too. We're in this together. Um, yeah, this whole pregnancy thing is not what I thought it'd be. I don't know if it's because it's twins or what, but it's just like, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> Done. But I'm more than halfway there, which is so crazy. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye. Today I'm here to do a video all on diffusers and I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. I've gotten so many comments from you guys over, I don't know, the last few months asking if I use them. 